Today, we are keeping it local and giving you a preview of a new hotspot that is getting ready to have their grand opening. And guys, it deals with chocolate. I am so excited to introduce Drew Hill and Cindy Morton from Peterbrook Chocolatier. Welcome to the show, Hello. ladies. How are Good you? Good morning. Thank you, Natalie. Um, I'm thanking you because I'm so excited <laughs> to talk with you as you get ready to give Tampa Bay a taste of Peter Brook chocolate. And you were telling me before we got started, this is a name that a lot of people in Northern Florida may know. I hadn't heard of it yet. And what I really love deals with chocolate, but number two, it also deals with family. Give us an idea of the backstory and why you wanted to bring it to Tampa Bay. Um, so we grew up in Jacksonville, Florida. We lived in Jacksonville for about 10 years. Um, and our mom was a teacher in Jacksonville. Um, so that's where it all started. Her students would bring her Peterbrook chocolates here while she was a teacher and she just became obsessed with it. <laughs> Not only that, this girl is a chocoholic and mm -hmm. had her birthday party at one of the original Peterbrooks. So that was also another way we got really close and introduced with the brand. And um, we moved to Tampa about six years ago. We were like, there's no Peterbrook here. Like we thought it was everywhere. And so we made it happen and we opened. <laughs> Good for you. I also too am a chocoholic. I love chocolate. After every meal, I feel like I have to have some chocolate afterwards. I'm one of those people. So, but the family elements, you came together as a family to open this and you're getting close. You've had kind of a soft opening, but let's talk about this grand opening that you're planning. Yeah, so something we have been much anticipating, we are having a two-day grand opening celebration. It's going to be Friday, October 23rd and 24th. On the 23rd, we have the honor of having Mayor Jane Castor coming to do an official ribbon cutting ceremony. Uh, we're also going to have uh, tons of samples of COVID saldo, so it's going to be very controlled, very safe. Um, we're going to be giving out a raffle, so a big prize, big gift certificate. And then on Saturday, we'll also have a local DJ that will keep the energy going, a photo opportunity out here in front of our store, and just all around really good time with lots of food and so I can tell already, like the background that we're seeing looks great, but I'm not seeing a lot and I haven't seen the chocolate yet. Can you give oh, us a glimpse here of what we can get? So that's one of our public popcorn filled chocolate pumpkins, oh. something we do seasonally. Look at that. We are really well known for our chocolate covered popcorn, salty, buttery, sweet, all the best things in life. And then we do a lot of different gifting options, so um, all kinds of handmade custom bars, um, chocolate tulips and roses, gift baskets, any occasion, we got you covered. And pretty much everything you see here in the store, we do make it here in-house, so it's all fresh and delicious, and we can take you back and show you the chocolate wheels as well. Oh, wow. Okay. You know what? I, I will say, I think I'm already seeing this becoming a two-parter because I don't want to lose you ladies when we go back in the chocolate room. So we've got to do a tour one day coming up. But right. as we talk about the grand opening and one thing that I just thought of, the holidays really right around the corner. Oh, there we're taking a look at some of the homemade chocolate. What are we take, What are we seeing? Is this your location? Um, that is a uh, location in Jacksonville. Um, during the summer, we were in Jacksonville for six weeks training to become chocolatiers in order to open our shop. So over the summer, we lived in Jacksonville, and that's a photo from one of the shops in Jacksonville. So you went through training to actually have yes. the title chocolatier. Yeah. Oh, yes. There's a lot of, there's a lot of skill involved, <laughs> a lot of science and technique. You don't just wake up being a chocolatier. It takes a little work. <laughs> yeah, I think I would have the practice, but I don't know any of the science or making it. I've got the eating. Well, here's what I was going to ask, though, before we took a look at that fabulous shot there. What about deliveries for the holidays? Because I'm always looking for stuff that's unique to Florida to be able to send a family around the country. Is that something you do, or people just still need to come through your doors and pick out what they'd like? Oh, yeah, absolutely. So... We do have to use a special insulated packaging, of course, to make sure everything doesn't melt on the way there. But we do offer 
nationwide delivery or yeah, shipping. And then we will have local delivery services for the holidays as well. Oh, this is such a win-win. Again, the grand opening, we want to make sure to get the dates, the 23rd, 24th. You're located in Sky Point, right in downtown Tampa. I'm so glad you're here. I can't wait to visit you. And thanks for being on the show today. Thank you, Natalie. We appreciate you.